Hi guys, Ghost here, and today we're playing a game that I've been excited for ever since it was announced a couple years ago, and it's called Boyfriend Dungeon. It's very, um, homoerotic, so if you don't want to watch something like that, scroll up. If not, buckle in, because I'm excited. Are you excited? We should be. Okay, so just like every other game, I have no clue what we're getting into. I just know that it's going to be hot men, like this one right here, right in front of us. Nice. So let's uh, jump into it. In the game may include references to unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care. Sounds like a normal Tuesday for me. Well, our name is gonna be uh, Ghost. I almost said Kim. That's not us. Call me Ghost. And we do, we are he and him. Um, heavy. Sleepy, smiling, tough, brown, heavy, sleepy. Hmm. And forgiving if you hear me sniffling a lot. I've been sick. But it's not what you think it is. It's allergies. <laughs> I think I want to go with the tough ones. And I'm a very pasty boy, so. Yeah, that's my hair. I wish, oh, there we go. Same, right? Yes. Against the tents. Says you support a text message from a character named Mom. Is that okay? No. If you answer no, we would disable these messages. No, it's okay. We can have those messages. Final boarding for Run of Beach. Our passengers, please board immediately. No. Well, the animation's really pretty. Ignore my hair. It's a mess today. I've been trying to fix it, and I just can't. I I've been trying. Imagine to see a giant thumb t uh, thumbtack just go through your house or your business. I look like an eyeball. I don't like that. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me, Jesse. Jesse. Oh, well, let me turn that kids. off. Your mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. <laughs> Thanks. Are you hitting on me? Who are you again? Nope. I'm your cousin. <laughs> Come on. You gotta believe I'm better than that. Uh, uh. Last time I saw you, let's see. It was a while ago. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or oh, something. So you're old. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. He leads you upstairs. You can stay here till my lease runs out in September. I moved out to live with my partner last month, so you can just hmm. get free rent. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve you a little problem. Excuse me? Your mom said you had gone on a date, like not in your whole life. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. <laughs> or if you prefer a summer of totally playtime and friendly hangouts, those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a, a little adventurous, come to the right place. Burnley Beach is the town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. I won't guarantee you fall in love, but a date should be shouldn't be too hard to arrange. <laughs> what do you think your main problem is in love? I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. I'm ugly. Uh, nope, Rongo, you're a cutie, cuz, but you might need higher self-esteem. The first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking uh -huh. to them. So let's get you some confidence. There's a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You have to. Go have an open mind though you ready it's dungeons uh, uh not sex dungeons so i guess there are some parallels oh never mind uh don't think about that you know dungeons from like video games or dnd like that but in real life there's been more monsters and infestations like this year people killed them for money it's great for building confidence it's also getting a workout plus 
Wait, uh, hey, I wanted to ask, can you turn into a weapon? Maybe, can you? Uh, uh no, but maybe you can. Give it a go. You squeeze your eyes shut and imagine turning into a sword. Long and sharp. You open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Same old you. Oh, uh, don't look sad, cuz. You can't do it right. Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in the family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Around here, people like to call us wielders. At least, around the weapon folk. You do great. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump heavily. Meeting someone. Already? Jesse eyes widen and shakes his head. Stop. Take a deep breath. It's not a date. It's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyways. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? <laughs> We're going to be sword fighting. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is that you're stronger together. So whenever you're ready, go out there and go to the mall. The mall has monsters? Apparently it's something to do with common fears. I don't know. Ask Isaac. We'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. In the meantime, I'll set you up on a proper date. Always check your text messages. Jesse goes to leave, then pauses. Oh, I don't have to give you a little tour of the apartment, but this is short of... All there is, all yours. I have, an, I have ideas on how you could use the shelves and decks, but we'll talk about that after you settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you see some new looks, no pressure. See ya. Jesse leaves. Hey, it's Jesse. Now you have my number. Okay, how do I answer that? Okay. It's weird that he's messaging me. It kind of weirds me out. Hey Jesse, now you have my number. Don't forget to meet Isaac at the mall. Also, I just saw on the news that there was a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Stay safe. Can I message back? No. Gifts? None. A bit empty. A white t-shirt. Warm when I've gotten to do laundry. Dragon Glore design. Those of fireballs and spicy, spicy dragon reading material. <laughs> Funny. Crafting, mirror, designs. Can't do that. Phone. Let's just go to the mall. Oh, we can walk around. Wee! We're on a mall. This is cute. I like the art style. Boop. Be careful. It's a dungeon. If there's a scythe one. We're going for that. Uh oh. Okay, this is weird. I, f I mess with it though. I mess with it. Alright, so the fireball. Oh, it's a weapon. You found a long, thin blade. The hilt fits perfectly into your grip. The man of voices vibrates from the middle and up through your hand, making you jump. Be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Ooh, Isaac. Hey, I like y'all. Let's turn that up some. Let's turn this up some for y'all. Boop, 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 boop. Pleasure to meet you, Isaac. Okay. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. Gonna be a lot of simping. I'm sorry. But I am indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. We got many of those, baby. We got many of those. Here, your own psychology will create monsters to fight. Oh, that's that would be fucked in real life. I chose the mall because <laughs> most people have fears that easily manifest here. <laughs> We're gonna chuckle Everyone softly. Is afraid of something. You're Let's not wrong. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Okay. Okay. 
I like the transition scene. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Wee. Wee. Is, is that a cell phone? Why is there a cell phone? Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. You're not bad either. After 20 years of practice, I better have something to show for it. Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going into the dungeons of Wielder, I found lots of trucks. Trucks? Yes, trucks. Strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. They were monsters, pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues with my masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Eventually I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck, and it felt good. My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you fear connection to other people? Intimacy? Mm -hmm. Maybe you feel helplessness crawling like a worm the way it did. We'll figure it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. Ooh. I feel like this is going to hit a little closer to home. As deep as in security, so in a way it's up to you. We'll just go as deep as we can today. If you get tired or collapse, that's okay. We'll just keep going to... We still get to keep eating the treasure we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages, tea, coffee, that sort of thing. Keeps your spirits up. We held up to three at a time, and then use them when you need them. One last observation. You can use the power of Zions in combat. Press the Zion button to use our dragon Zion and breathe fire. Maybe later you can find a new Zion, or even make your own. But be sure not to always rely on them, though, as, they use, as their use is limited. So be brave, and let's fight the best we can. Together we can overcome anything. Yes, sir. Ooh. A wire. So I'm that flexible, like I want to be. Oh. I gotta... Come on. I already miss you. Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Always listen to your cousin Jesse. Watch out for pickpockets. Are you okay? Did you find the apartment? I'm fine, Mom. Oh, good. Stay on your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. I love you too, Mom. Be good. Ow. I like the stabby stabs. Yeah. Doot, doot. Ow. Didn't mean to get hit there. Oh. Oh, he just said, oh. Send your press sent off. What a deal. Hmm, what's this? Oh, what's that? Oh. It's a sword. How did it get here? The hilt is cool. Almost cold to the touch, but quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Oh, hello, sir. Whoa. Well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Simping. <laughs> Isaac Brooks. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me, whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. Here I, I am. Anyone like you would be in the dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> you. I'm not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. My bad. <laughs> my bad. There were other options. Oh, if you're into it, maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? <laughs> Are you more sword or man? I'm both. Don't tell me you're obsessed with Bonnie binaries. Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in. No matter the shape of this body. 
Oh, that's all I ask. <laughs> Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. Really? I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Do you see my hair? What's going on with that? Are you hurt? Little, but my pride more than Let me fix my hair real quick. I'm sure Isaac can explain. So I think can explain. I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. Here's my number. Uh, the his tip is all broken. I'll text you. Please do. The damage blade saunters away, seeming almost to dance. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here. Oh, lonely old me. <laughs> forms heal quickly, as oh. they are made from our spirits more than our. They mean to smack out like that. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dunge. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. There are so many of them. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god, I had no health. Jesus Christ. Where's my man's at? I need him to detect me. There we go. Oh my god, there are so many. Jesus, an elevator. Isaac the Astonk. He's so cute. A few attacks in a row will let us do a combo together. Try light attack, light attack, heavy attack. You can test out some basics for the light and heavy or dodge roll with the dodge. So there is combos. Okay. Oh, there's a monster. I'll show who's boss. Where? Oh, God. Who are you talking to, sir? There is no monster. I think our sword is tripping. There's another one. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather, and the double edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like, Grab me without warning? I'm mad. I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but no, it's okay. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to snap. I just I'm not sure what's going on. You got snatched. I was out at night as you do, and then bam, bam. I'm here. My blade hurts. Monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human foot. I don't know you. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. That was hot. <laughs> True. I'm the one with the sharp edges. But I'd be trusting you even more. I could use some extra cash, though. So I'll keep in touch. Ciao for now. For now. Why so many at once? Why? What's this way? Oh, I died. Yep. 
Oops. Weirdo level two. Nice. Okay, that's a dramatic transition. You feel the paramedics gently bring you to the surface back to consciousness. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still holding a sword. That concludes our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? Sure. Not a problem at all. Blade begins to transform. A beautiful man. Oh, hi, handsome. Truly, enchanté. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. I well, like this man. I must get back, if I may say. Your fencing style is rough. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. Yeah, you do. We still have many minutes <laughs> on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time, then. Yes, sir. With a small bow. With a small bow, he strides away. Messages. Dear Ghost, I am available for lessons. I'll provide equipment at my office, Brooks Associates. If you wish, sincerely, Isaac. Not a letter. <laughs> I must study the vernacular of text. Perhaps you can instruct me on our meeting. Looking forward to it. Yes, sir. Did you make it to the dungeon? Report in, soldier. <laughs> I met the sword man. How did it go? Wait, don't answer that. Let's talk in person. Okay. Thumbs. I'll be right over. Okay. A few minutes later. Because hey, I heard you uh picked up Isaac, and he says you're a natural. Whoa! Two swords in one day. Actually, we found the odds? two swords in one day. Anyway. Or three, technically. As it says, you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you work on it together. If you're not into him, it's a good practice being normal alone with a handsome stranger. In case you know, you might as well get nervous all about the idea of dating. It was a good idea. You realize you do indeed feel a bit more relaxed about the ideas of a first date. Jesse squints at you. Nerves are bad. That bad, huh? At least you gain a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with a guy that runs a short sword shop. And he's single. At least that's what Eric online, Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac. I got his number too. Jesse pokes his phone. Ah, uh -huh. oh, there we go. He's free for coffee tomorrow. Are you in? Let's do it. <laughs> that's the spirit. It's mostly a practice day anyway. Tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. He'll be at the kicks, the cafe just down the street. It's just coffee. Talk about dungeons. Get to know him. The summer won't last forever, and you gotta meet new people sometime. Let's throw a play with some practice. I'll be Eric, no pressure, just try it out. Okay, you've just entered the cafe. I'm Eric, and I'm sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Let's kiss. <laughs> no. <laughs> hi. You try to say hi, but you brought the cats in your throat, and you start coughing. Mm, maybe try in a mirror tonight. This might work better than I thought. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You do fine. Practice makes perfect. See ya. Mm. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Jesse leaves. You have a few extra hours. How do you spend the evening? Mmm. Brad's the internet. You catch up on the news. It looks like everyone's angry about something. You get bored and do a little social media research on Eric. You don't see much about his personal life, but you do find his weapon shop. It looks like his shop is called the Naked Steel and has two ratings. One rating reads the owner is a real expert. Good prices and service. Five stars. That rating reads Naked Steel, not a porn star. A porn store. No porn at all. Anyways, stand blade generation one star. Eventually you log off and you go to bed, feeling more prepared. You wake up paralyzed with deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first day and the rest of your life. What if? You're not even sure what you're afraid of, but sure, like you can't breathe. You slowly count, focusing your thoughts. One, two, three. Eventually you feel a bit better. You wake up, you get up and walk down to the coffee what shop. Hits. I think the man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone waving at you. You're Jesse's cousin, right? He looks like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> You're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. Now tell me everything you know about swords. 
Do you prefer one or two-handed? Oh, I don't know. One-handed. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. <laughs> he waggles his eyebrows painfully. He said you're a dungeon crawling type, so I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. Can you become a weapon? No, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it, but my shop sells only pure steel. Some imported, some made on site. May I give you a discount to a fellow enthusiast who give my blades a good home? Hmm. Seem like the kind of man who appreciates fine craftsmanship. I am. As a smith, I have an eye for one for it too. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyways. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can teach you so much, you know. Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. Mm. Here, for now. Here's a gift for a fellow craftsman. Maybe you can do something with these. Plastic. A modern miracle. You found a bracelet's recipe. You think you can make something out of this stuff? Anyways, I should be getting back to the shop. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need some more purple tea in my life. I'd enjoy that. Mm -hmm. He'd like that. You need a weapon. Maybe I'll see you again soon. Anyways, ciao. Eric leaves. You head home. Uh oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you did it. You went on a date. Sort of. How'd it go? Wait, really? I mean, I'm happy for you, but you still have most of the summer left. Meet more people before you propose. You're now infinitely more date, uh, date experience than you were yesterday. Plus, I'll find you another date venture soon. I want the date weapons. I see what I can do. I promised your mom I would help after all. I'm gonna find you someone nice. My man's texted me. Chill in dungeon for now. Or use your crafting table. I left in the front. You can craft supplies, clothes, and other stuff from the shops around town too. I'll let you know when the next date is set up. You like dancing? Yeah. Yes. Come to my club, La Rosa. VIP. I'll be there. Okay, cool. Me too. Just show the bouncer you're with me. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Hey, this is Daggery. The that dagger you met. Name's Valerie. Wanna meet up sometimes? Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. <laughs> okay, what can I craft? Bracelets, recipe. Got an achievement, duct tape. Give me bracelets. Wait for the gift opportunity to give it to someone special. Special? Special? <laughs> special. Oh, they're gifts. I made gifts. Zion's right. Do we want to go to the club? Okay, we get it. I want to go on a date with my mans over here. Hmm? Name, I'm with Thunder. I'm starting to clip the velvet rope and step, you step inside. Thunder is bending to a woman standing next to him in the VIP area. Hmm, but I can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Join the club. And without love, what is the point? Hey, Ghost, do you believe in soulmates? Absolutely. Thunder hesitant, hesitant eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. I think I do too. I just keep getting disappointed. I'm not sure anymore. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. They make it look so easy in the movies. Romance has the dead has been dead for at least 500 years. Yeah, so ghost, this is Manny. She's my business partner and co-owner of the club. Excuse me. Charmed, I'm sure. What kind of sword do you turn into again? Uh. No, he's a weirder. We older. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? What'd you say? Nah. You know, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dungeon outing. What about you? 
let's dance. Yes, tonight we dance like we're gonna die in 50 years. Woo! But we are. Whatever, you idiot. Manny kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways and sips his drink, but Manny dances with an abandon. You can feel the music thumping in your chest. I want to try some dance moves. Why not? You take the chance to put your heart into every motion. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Sunder smiles and leads the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leads in there, her breath warm in your ear. Yo, you should really be careful, little one. Thunder eats up lovers one by one. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies and he's dangerous. Sunder is using you. Part of his addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Why are you his friend? I can be friends with assholes. I just don't date them. But I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help. Be careful. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way to you. Mandy, left on just us two now. Let's enjoy the moment where we can. Hmm. As you wish. Better? You dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. Eventually the night is over. You head home. So many messages. Hey. I mean, message me. Hurry up. I'm really glad Jesse introduced us. Me too. Do you come by the naked steel sometimes? Our scimitars have secondly curves. Special part for a special guy. What do you say? I'll see you there. I'll be waiting and hoping. I was thinking of going to the park. You free? Sounds good. See you by the pond. Eh. And I know you always been afraid of change. And I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you. But Jesse says you're fighting monsters? How could you pick up a less dangerous career? Like cobra wrestling or wreck diving? I have health care. No reason to take more risks. Something happened to you. I don't know what I'd do. Of course, I'll support you no matter what, but be safe. I will. Thank you. Hey, cutie. Sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but this is how I am. You're a good dancer. Is that code for something? <laughs> What do you want it to be? Let's go again sometimes. Dancing? Okay. To the dungeons we go. Or... Do we want to... Don't need dates. We're gonna go here. The shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register reading a book. Oh, you came. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. Nice hey, shop. <coughs> just restocked our spadroon supply. What the hell is that? Let me give you a tour. Okay. Granite Beach Knuckleheads mostly want Switchblade's razors, but we care the finest blades. Some even made on site in my private smithery. I also teach classes at Granite Beach College about the history of war. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? Most people know of the scimitar, but you're into rarities. Ah. Hmm. Wait, you mean a weapon? You mean a weapon person, right? Of course. I'm actually fascinated wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would turn into if it were a weapon. If it was a person, I'm sorry. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, ghosts, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. Not polite to still say, and pure humans aren't superior, but. Truth is, we're better suited to leadership. Obviously. Mm -hmm. I know you'd feel the same way. You're a smart guy. You see the world how it really is, like me. Mm -hmm. I have a little portrait I think you'd be interested in. Forging, uh, forging a new weapon, an improved kind of weapon. Way smarter than the idiot Talwar you like so much. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they call the Supreme Sword yet. 
Name after me. Interesting. Hmm. For my next one, maybe I should make one for you. The ghost blade. Wait. What about the Eric blade? That has a cry and a ring to it. You're a font of inspiration. Even though the blade itself doesn't really need to be fancy. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon that would be a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need an its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. Think of it the ultimate weapon with the tactical insight of none of the drama. So you want it to be mindless? Ideally, no. Ideally, I would, I would want to be my perfect tool, but in practice, yes. The perfect servant will always be more loyal than the equal. The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Oh, I need one of those. Now, what can I help you with? I'm offering you a little discount here. I don't want nothing. Yeah, turn the trap side, cutie. That's you head home. <laughs> I guess you see why I prefer steel weapons. To each their own. Exactly. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. You can't really inspect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? You could pay them. <laughs> right. <clears throat> On to another date. Or do we want to... Let's go in the dungeon. The Talwa. Go. Fear unidentified. Smells like fresh meat. Let's do it. I like this weapon. Do do do. Nice. Easily executed. Oh, they gave me no money. That's whack. Ow. There's so many enemies. Why? You found sugar. The basis of all food, probably. Oh my god. We did it. You found glass. Evolved form of sand. Take that. Thank you. Found two whole dollars. Damn, we got the level two. Y'all need to back it up. Money. I like to load a map in the corner. Can we go this way? We can. I got the little cell phone. It's okay to faint, I'm right here. I will take that bubba. <laughs> yeah, another triumph for the second sexiest duo ever. On the other side real quick. Boop. Boop and boop and boop. Challenge room. Oh, God. Challenge again. Pick 
Don't chomp me, cell phone. Challenge complete. What did I get? Oh, this beak. You have deep pockets, right? You find a bike helmet recipe. Check it out at your workbench. That's cool. Let's chill here for a minute. Oh, I love pinball back in the day. Do they have the classic one? Ballyhoo? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Even forgets the best stuff. Everyone forgets the best stuff. What do you want to play instead? Dangerous dancing with them. Oh no, those machines still exist. I swear I destroyed them all. Just kidding. Go ahead and have fun. I'll save my moves for the real dance floor. You play a while. Eventually you run out of tokens. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. Bracelets. Ooh, for me? I feel so special. Thunder Smorks. Good game. <clears throat> okay. This was a cute little room. Is this the right way? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Down the stairs we go. And this is where we're going to end this episode. I I like this game. It has everything I like. Cute men, dungeon crawling, crafting. And did I mention cute men? Did I mention that part? But if you liked it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, come back. <laughs> but other than that, y'all have a great day, okay?